So you want to learn what the difference is between a home equity line of credit and a cash out refinance. Well, you came to the right place. In this video, I'm going to be breaking down what a HELOC is, which is home equity line of credit and a cash out refinance, how they compare up against each other and which one you should be choosing based off of your specific situation. Here's a quick breakdown of what these two things are. If you don't already know, a HELOC is a home equity line of credit. Think of a home equity line of credit, like a credit card. You can pull this money out within your withdrawal period, typically between five and 10 years. A cash out refinance is just like a home equity line of credit, except you're not getting a line of credit like a credit card. You're pulling out all that money all at once. Now let's get into some pros and cons of a HELOC and a cash out refinance. And then we're going to jump into which one is best for your current situation. Let's get into some pros of a home equity line of credit. You're not paying any interest on that money until you pull that money out. It works just like a credit card. So if you don't pull any money out, let's say you get a HELOC today and a year from now, you didn't pull any money out. Obviously you don't have to pay anything back. Unlike a cash out refinance, you're not paying off the existing mortgage. You still have your normal mortgage, your original mortgage, and you have your HELOC. So if you have a good interest rate on the home that you're wanting to pull out money from, you get to keep that good interest rate. Typically with a home equity line of credit, you're gonna be getting an 80% LTV, which is loan to value. So this is what this means. If your home's value is, uh, let's just say $100,000 and you owe $50,000 left on the, the original loan. Well, you take 80% of the value of the property. So $100,000, you just multiply it, that's $80,000. Well, now you subtract the original mortgage that you have, well, how much you owe left, which is $50,000. So now what you're left with is $30,000. That's how much you can get in a line of credit. You can use that money for anything that you want to. I've actually seen some banks go as high as 90% loan to value. So you just have to shop around for this. Some cons of a home equity line of credit is interest rates tend to be a little bit higher than your cash out refinance. So if you have a, a cash out refinance interest rate of 3%, your HELOC will probably be like four or 5%. That's just an example to show you everyone's situation is different. So it's going to vary based off of your current situation. Normally with a HELOC, it's going to be a variable interest rate. So that means your interest rate is going to change year to year. You can talk to your lender and discuss getting a fixed interest rate, but that's just typical getting a variable interest rate. But more times than not, you can talk to your lender and you can negotiate a deal. So instead of having a variable interest rate, you might be paying 5% one year and 10% the next, you can get a fixed interest rate of let's just say 5%, just an example, and that will not change year to year. Again, this is just an example because it's based off of your specific situation. Now, before I get into a cash out refinance and go into some pros and cons, and then ultimately getting into which one is best for your current situation, go ahead and hit that like button for me and turn it blue. It really does help out the channel and it helps this video be pushed out to more and more people so they can know the differences between a home equity line of credit and a cash out refinance and ultimately which one is best for their situation. There are two big pros to getting a cash out refinance. One is you get the cash immediately to use however you want to. But if you're, using, if you're watching my YouTube channel, you know that we're going to be responsible with that money instead of going and blowing it on a car, new watches, etc. You're going to be spending on more and more real estate. The other big pro of a cash out refinance is their interest rates are typically lower than a home equity line of credit. Also something that I've already touched on is a cash out refinance is a fixed interest rate compared to the HELOC where it's a, normally a very variable interest rate. A really big con to a cash out refinance is yeah, you get that cash immediately, but now you're going to have to be paying that money back immediately because with the cash out refinance, you're not getting a two separate loans, right? You don't have your original loan and you don't have a, another loan with your, your HELOC. You're not doing that. You're actually going to be getting a higher mortgage. Let's go back to the example I mentioned earlier in this video where you have a property that's worth a hundred thousand dollars and then you're, you owe $50,000 left. Well, you're going to have to take 80% loan to value. So that's what's typical for a cash out refinance. So 80% times $100,000, that's $80,000. Well, you owe $50,000 left. Okay, the difference of $30,000, you get to get in one big check. And now they're not gonna be giving you a $100,000 check from what your property is worth and expect you to pay off the original loan, they're gonna be doing that on the back end. So don't expect a $100,000 check and then you have to do it all yourself. It's gonna be done on the back end for you. But with that said, you're gonna be now having to pay on an $80,000 loan rather than the $50,000 loan that you had left. That means that your monthly payments are going to be higher. So now you're having to pay back that cash out refinance that you just did. It's basically the same concept of a home equity line of credit, but instead of having to pay back your original loan 
and your line of credit, which is your credit card, you're only having to pay one payment with a cash out refinance compared to a HELOC where you have to pay your original loan and the home equity line of credit. Another con of a cash out refinance is if you have a good interest rate on the property that you're wanting to pull money out of, whenever you do a cash out refinance, you're gonna be getting a different interest rate. So if you had a, let's just say a 2% interest rate on the property you wanna pull a cash out of, well, when you do a cash out refinance, you're gonna get the interest rate that's in the current market. So it might be a 5%. Well, now it might not make much sense to be doing a cash or refinance. Now I want you to think about it. Which option do you think is best for you? Like all things, it depends on your situation and I'm gonna be breaking it down for you. Before I do that, click that subscribe button for me down below and click the bell icon to get notified when I upload a new video just like this one. If you know what you wanna do with that money as soon as you get it, I would get a cash out refinance because of the lower interest rate. Let's say for example that you have a property under contract or you're about to have a property under contract and you want the cash immediately to put down on it as a down payment. This would be a good reason to get a cash out refinance. But again, you have to kind of compare the two because if you have a good interest rate on the, the property you're wanting to pull cash out of, it might not be worth it. You have to kind of put the two things up side by side. On the topic of real estate investing, there's gonna be a link in the description down below this video where I'm hosting a free live masterclass and I'm gonna teach you everything from A to Z on how you can achieve your financial freedom in just three to five years with real estate. So if that's something that you're interested in, again, that link to sign up is gonna be in the description down below this video. Now, if you're just wanting the accessibility to the money and you don't need to use it right away, I would go with a HELOC because that money is always gonna be sitting there. You don't have to pay it back. Yes, you're gonna be having to pay a higher interest rate, but that money is always is available for you. When I say always, there's about a five to 10 year withdrawal period that you can use for the HELOC. If you're not ready to purchase an investment property and you're kind of wanting to wait two to three years to buy your first property, I would go with the HELOC. That way you can have that money sitting there in case for emergencies, etc. Now, one thing I do have to reiterate is please be careful whenever you get a HELOC because it, is, it acts just like a credit card. That money is always sitting there. So it's always tempting to just tap into it to get a new car, new watches, whatever. So please just be careful. Let me know in the comments down below this video, which one is best for you, either a cash out refinance or a HELOC. And also let me know why you think that a cash out refinance or a HELOC is best for your situation. There's also another way to tap into your home's equity and that is through a home equity loan. If you wanna know what that is and how that compares up against a home equity line of credit, there's gonna be a video popping up here somewhere. So if you that's something that you're interested in, go ahead and check out that video. Until the next video, I'm out, see ya.